Hmm. What's this? I didn't know there are dogs here upstairs. Lily. Lily. Maya? Are you crying? What happened? I'm just so happy you're awake. Look, we have the same ribbon. You don't need to be afraid of anything. I'm not going anywhere. So warm and soft. Maya? Why? What's this? That was Estonia. <laughs> Wait, what? Maya, she can predict the future. Mm. Three years ago, they conducted an experiment on us here in the city. I managed to make it out with everything but my memories intact. Maya wasn't so lucky. <sighs> hey, Maya. Today was a weird day. I mean, just the fact someone got murdered is weird enough, but to make matters worse, someone killed me while I was investigating the case. And for some reason, time rewound. And when I came back, I saw it. That vision of the future you showed me. In seven days, the city will fall. This whole thing has only just begun. Is this what you were trying to tell me? Are you here? Or are you... there? Perfectly safe. Everyone else says it's contaminated outside the dome. But that's just what people think because it's dangerous for them out there. Do you feel trapped in here? Like the city's some kind of cage? Hey, have you ever heard of a snow globe? It's like a little city inside a glass ball. And it's always snowing and sparkly inside. That's what... The city looks like from the outside. Have you seen it too? Yeah. I like this place. The Professor City has always protected me and Noel. It's almost like a cradle. Even for us, this is the only place we can survive. outside died right they were murdered is that why you were crying when we first met hey why were you crying just now i wasn't stop putting on a brave face you're doing a terrible job of hiding it no matter what we say it's all too late be able to change the past, but things can still turn out differently. Even if it's just 
one thing, it could end up being the most important thing of all. Hmm. Butterfly effect. Uh huh. I came here to see my mom. Before I moved here, I used to live out past the eastern desert in a little house by the water. We kept a low profile, away from the city folks if we were hiding. My dad wasn't around. It was just me and my mom. But three years ago, she disappeared too. I was still just a kid. I can't really remember why my mom left. I was having this horrible dream, and when I woke up, I realized I was all alone. But I knew that I'd get to see her again, if I came here. Why? I saw her memories from when she decided to move to the city. I was so happy when it came to pick me up. The whole time we were traveling, I couldn't stop smiling. By the time I got here, my mom was already long gone. Since then, I keep telling myself that I'll never see her again. If I don't keep reminding myself, I feel like I'll end up going crazy. Your hands are trembling. It's okay to cry, Hal. There's no point toughing it out. Just for me. After all, I've already seen you cry. So many times. Hey, do you want to hear a story from me for once? Yeah, of course. My big bro lives outside the city. There was a time when I used to wait for him to visit. I always used to come here. You can see the gate from where we are, right? It was just the two of us, me and Noel, growing up. I used to feel really anxious sometimes. I just wanted my big bro to come and take care of me. Your brother still hasn't come back, has he? He's coming back today. Today? Did you see the future? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, look up. I wish that you'd become one of the family. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> How long have you known that I've been coming here? It's not as if I knew for sure or anything. I didn't see long enough. To know whether he'd be coming or not. Like, when I saw that shooting star. I've seen that memory over and over. Even though it's just now happened? The future is just a part of my memories. Both the things that might have happened and the things that really did. I'll show you my future memories and make sure you don't get lost. I'm happy to go under. Sat here like this with my eyes closed and our hands together? Uh, uh. She's helping us anyway, so she knows that things might be different. That dream. It wasn't just someone else's memories. They were mine. Why couldn't I remember anything about it until now? Noel said nothing good would happen. Even if I got my memories back, I've got to find out for sure if something happened between the professor and us. That way, I can prove I deserve to wear the supervisor's badge. Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. It's been a long day. I've been killed. And resurrected. For sure I have some memories though. What's this?
Are you a gamer? What's this? Coin case. A new quest. <laughs> Maya. Do we have okay? <laughs> hmm. Altomachia. <laughs> oh, the desert. The connections. No, 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 go back to searching coins. <coughs> Hello, Maya. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> Pick up the pocket watch, add it to your inventory, then pull the trigger to transfer to the memory room. This is a lot. <laughs> That's the second day, but... Oh wow, that's... This is gonna be very interesting, like, okay. So those are the actual paths we died here. Here we continued. So I'm assuming on the other days we'll die as well, or just whatever. But there's just so many possible pathways. I guess it's just good to continue with the story up until we get stuck or whatever. Or we get like a hint on where to go back and what's to change. Like, this is gonna be more complicated than Audius, I'm sure of it. 